magazines, master. How many times do I have to tell you body temperature? Yes, master. Master, lots of ladies in the all together for you to drool over. <laughs> Trash. Phew. Pornography. Where is my fashion magazine? Whatever master wants, master gets. Ah, there she is. Cindy Sundial. I tell you, Ringfield, every time I see her, I'm more sure it's her. The only woman I have ever loved. Please, master. That's the same thing you said about the Countess de Montespan in 1672. That was sex, Rainfield. This is love. This one has a soul. A very old soul. A soul I have known before. I bit her once in Warsaw in 1300 and... 1300 and... Rain... Rainfield! 56, master. Oh, yes. Yes, 1356, Warsaw, a bitter once. I met her again in, in England in 1931. 31. Two bites that time. I knew her as Mina Harker. But I lost her in that damn London fog. I'll never forget it, Master. That was the time Dr. Von Helsing nearly got you. If it hadn't been for that cigarette case I gave you for your 650th birthday, he would have driven that stake right through your heart. What? He would have driven that stake right through your heart. So what do you want from me, a medal? Sorry, master. Miss Cindy and I are going down in the cellar to take a little nap. Master, please be careful. What is it? You nearly stepped on my dinner. Uh. Forgive me. Bon appetit. Oh, Renfield. Yes, Master? Didn't mean to bother you while you're eating. When you're finished, tidy up a bit. Certainly, Master. <laughs> mm. Cheating on your honeymoon can't be fun. How to get your gynecologist to tear up his bill by yelling rape in the office. The ten best states to divorce your old man in. Husband beating. Ten men tell why they like it. Sick, sick, sick. Cindy Sundheim. One day I will take you away from all of this. Master! Wake up, master! Master! Wake up, Master. Master, there's someone at the door. They want to see you. I, I think they're from the government. How do you know? They're wearing shoes. And therefore, by a unanimous vote of the Central Committee, it has been decided to turn this castle into a training camp for our young athletes. You and your cockroach-eating friend over there have 48 hours to get out. Good evening, comrade. Count. Wait one minute. This is my home. My people cleared the land. We tortured innocent peasants for it. We even murdered for it. By Romanian law, that makes it die. Now you listen to me, stupid. In 48 hours, we'll be back here with trampolines, parallel bars, swings, and Nadia Kamenich. Don't be here. Don't be here? Where am I to go? You have a choice, comrade Count. Either you spend the rest of your life in an efficiency apartment, with seven dissidents and one toilet. Or you gather your aristocratic shit together and split. Rinfield! Yes, master? What is an efficiency apartment? 
don't know, master. What's a toilet? The horses are harnessed, master. It's time. So they've gone to pay the respects, have they? Well, uh, not exactly, Master. Perhaps it would be better if you left in your coffin. I could, uh, I could take it off the carriage. Me afraid of townspeople? A bunch of yokels? Come, Rainfield. We will give them a run for their money. With your mother and your grandmother. <laughs> and you, my child, are you not afraid of Count Dracula? You see, even a child knows. The wolf is a very misunderstood creature. He never kills for sport, only what is needed. And he always protects the young and the wolf. But remember this. Without me, Transylvania will be as exciting as Bucharest on a Monday night. Pardon me, would you like chicken Kiev, Chateaubriand, or veal cutlet Florentine for lunch? Everything you mention is dead. Don't you have anything that's alive and kicking? Oh, I'll have the chicken Kiev, miss. Oh, why don't you bring a nice juicy mouse for little Salome here? Could I have one too? <laughs> <laughs> <Sunny>. <laughs> American slang. Putting on the Ritz. Getting dressed up. Flapper. A girl. Hatsi Tatsi. Hoop Hoop Red Hot Mama. 23 Skidoo. What is this? Copyright 1926. Rinfield, you bungling moron. This book is as out of date as I am.
All right, what do you got? Nothing, just a sitar I bought in Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Okay, strip him down. Look in his eyes, look in his ears, look in his nose, and have him bend over and touch his toes and look up there. Lousy hippies. What do you got to declare over a hundred bucks? Well, nothing, sir. Oh, yeah? And what's in there? All that's left of my father. I'm bringing him home so I can bury him next to my mother. That's his passport right there. What did he die of? He was half eaten by a lion while he was on safari in Africa. And what was left, the vultures got at. Would you like to see? They chewed away his eyes and his nose and his mouth, but you can still identify him. He's in three rather large pieces. Get out of here. Next. Alvin, I told you to go find your roots. But who told you to drink the water? <laughs> Sir, sir, would you like limo service to New York? Oh, thank you very much. And for you, only uh, $25. Hey, pal, why pay a limo to carry this thing? I got a private car, air conditioned, 10 bucks flat, no tip. What do you say? Huh? Master, there's a gentleman here that says he'll take us into town for $10. Master, what should I do? All right, enough with the number already. $7.50. But you carry the master. I always do. Come along now, master. And he was a swinger. Yes, yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. He loved his booze. <laughs> he loved his women. Yeah, yes, and, and my wife, too. Yes, he did. Yes, sure did. But most of all, he loved his Cadillac Seville. And it's a beaut. I know because he left it to me, hallelujah. Oh. <laughs> I showed him how God wanted him to have a swell time while he was alive. Yes. Because, brothers and sisters, when you is gone, you is gone. And ain't no way, no how, nobody's going to bring you back here once you is dead. Good evening. <laughs> I am Count Dracula. I would like a large suite with a bath. I have a reservation. <laughs> this is not the lobby of the Plaza Hotel. Hey, you. What's shaking, Anki? Good evening. Uh, forgive me, but uh, could you direct me to where I might find a taxi? They ain't none. They scared to come up here after dark. Honky. Honky, eh? I am not a honky. I am Romanian. You mean you was a Romanian, mother? Hey, man, did you see Roots? I wouldn't mess with him. His grandfather was a Watusi. Uh, Batusi, a, a warrior. Now, the time is late. The man is tall. But I got a date, so he must fall. Ah! Let me have the mother. Ooh. It's Thanksgiving time, turkey. Uh, I, 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 I ain't with 
these guys. These brothers are just standing here. Now, now, I know my way home, so you don't have to show me. It's dudes like you that give the neighborhood a bad name. Raid! Raid House and Garden Bug Killer. Indoors or outdoors, Raid hunts bugs down like radar and kills them dead. I win! You lose. Get Raid. <laughs> Happy to see you too, Master. You psychotic, bungling moron. There is a dead Schwartz in there. That's impossible. Don't tell me impossible. Look, go on, look for yourself. Maybe he's just a late sleeper. <laughs> I'll have them get rid of it immediately, Master. After that, you'll arrange to get my coffin. Oh, yes, Master. Then, while I'm resting, you will go to make discreet inquiries as to whereabouts of Miss Cindy. I bought an American suit, so I look just like everyone else. I seriously doubt that, Rinfield. Nevertheless, by the time I arise tomorrow evening, the sun sets at... at... 7.52, Master. By 7.53, I want to know where Cindy sometime lives. But not for long, right, Master? You can go in now. Didn't I see him on Fantasy Island? Now, you expect me to introduce my most successful model to your employer, this Count, uh, something. What did you say his last name was? Dracula. Count Dracula. Correct. Mm -hmm. The Count Dracula. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bob Evans from Paramount sent you, didn't he? I mean, this is a joke, right? It's a gag. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, I'm not joking. Um, my master would like very much to meet Miss Sondheim, and I'm sure he would be willing to give you a commission if you could arrange it. <laughs> How much of a commission? Well, he might make you a colonel in the Royal Transylvanian Army. Um, that is, uh, when the next free elections will be held. All right, you freak. You have 30 seconds to get yourself out of my office, or I call the security guard. No. You have 30 seconds to tell me where Miss Sondheim is, or... Or what? You'll eat your lunch in my office? No. My lunch will eat you. <laughs> what is that? Oh, my... What's that?
time, buddy. Step back. I've come a long way to see her. You and about a thousand other schmucks. Now step back, buddy. Field, you will do two things in the morning. You will locate Miss Cindy Sundheim, and you will go to Dunhill Tailors and buy me three new tailcoats. Yes, master. You'd better make that six. The city is like living in a jungle. They drove me too far tonight. Don't worry, master. I'm sure you'll meet her someday. It's not that. It's the eight dollars I had to pay for this lousy dog license to get out of there. I'm going out and get a bite to drink. If you're hungry, Master, we could ring for the night maid. <laughs> Drew, please. I have to tell you, if you want to do it, off with the cufflinks. Cufflinks? No way any cufflinks. Well, well, then what's that scratching my neck? What is it? Oh, it's my first wife. I told you, the check's in the mail. You frigid skinny leg yetta! That's it. That is it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Why don't you go to work, old man? We have nothing to eat. We do now. Look, a chicken. A black chicken. A chicken! Jose, boil the water. Boil the water, Jose. I like milk in June. How about you? <laughs> oh, 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 yesterday dinosaurs uh, and then elephants and now bats. Well, why not? Hi there, little fella. <laughs> I like New York in June. How about you? I like ein Gerschwein tun. How about you?
You all right, master? No, I'm not all right. What was that maniac drinking? Tastes like the Volga River at low tide. Let me help you out, master. You'll be all right in a moment. No. No, Renfield, I'm finished. I'm through. I couldn't even scare a field mouse at 20 meters. In a city where taxi cab drivers live in little cages, who's afraid of a bat anymore? Here, let me help you. I'm not even a bat. I'm a black chicken. I'm a yenta with skinny legs. Take your hands off me, you myopic dwarf. No, Rainfield, I am finished. Over. I'm a has-been. O-B-E-R. But, Master, you're Dracula, son of Dracula. You've been the reigning prince of darkness for over 700 glorious years. 700 lonely years, Rainfield. Lonely, Master? Lonely? But I, I thought you were happy living. I mean, dying. I mean, existing all those years. I, I thought you were having fun. Fun? How would you like to go around dressed like a head waiter for the last 700 years? Just once, I'd like to go to dinner dressed in a turtleneck and a sports jacket. Happy. How would you like to dine on nothing but a warm, liquid, protein diet while all around you people are eating lamb chops, potato chips, malamats, Chivas of eagle on the rocks with the twist. How would you like to not have Christmas presents? Easter egg hunts. Garlic toast. No, Rainfield. Help me back in the coffin. I'm not going up tonight or any other night. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, I am what, you idiot? Going out tonight, master. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> what is that, another little bug? This is where she is tonight. This is where she is every night. You got this from the head of the modeling agency, Renfield? <laughs> I got this from her secretary when I showed up at noontime with my lunch pail. <laughs> another snake, Renfield, eh? Oh, no, master. A scorpion, perhaps? No better, master. What could be better than a scorpion, Redfield? Six black widow spiders, 12 fat earthworms, two hairy caterpillars, unripe bread with a slice of onion, a triple decker. <coughs> Was it something I said, master? <coughs> yes. Are you a member? I'm looking for somebody. Aren't we all? dump on her. Good evening. But meet me, too. Oh, no, thank you. I already ordered. She put him through four years of medical school, two years of residency, and a year of internship, and now he won't even take her calls. I'm telling you, my way is better. You meet him if you dig him, you ball him once, and then adios, muchacho. Lisa? Lisa? I am not a waiter. 
Magician, or you're into handwriting analysis, right? Neither. I've adored you from afar, Cindy Sundime. How did you know my name? Does one know the wind's name is Mariah? You're weird, you know that? Look into my eyes and tell me what you see. Um, they're bloodshot, and you had too much to drink last night. What else? I don't know. You tell me. Love. I love you. And I can give you eternal life. Shit, I knew it, an insurance salesman. I've already got Prudential. I am Count Vladimir Dracula. I do not sell life insurance. All right, but don't get so hostile. I mean, you walk over here and you start to tell me you love me. I mean, how could you possibly love me? You don't even know me. Maybe the only thing you know about me is maybe you know that I don't want to get married or something like that. I know many things about you. Secret things. Oh, really? Like what? Like you enjoy having your ankles in licked. Um, listen, uh, maybe we could go back to my place. Or your place. Whichever. Can't believe I said that. Come on in. Can I get you anything? A broom, perhaps. Oh, uh, well, I hate housework. It killed my mother. I'll see you in a minute. I'll be right back. Make yourself comfortable. Room 903, please. Rent it. What time does the sun rise in the morning? 6.48. Rentfield, I want you to call me at 6 o'clock. Yes, a wake-up call. Sexy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
voila. Well, what do you think of the real me? I'll be right out there. I've got just the thing to put us in the mood. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Oh, so that's where you've been for the last two days. And I thought you were lost, you little devil. There you go. I got us some champagne and a little Maui wow, really heavy shit. I do not drink wine. Oh. And I do not smoke shit. Oh. So much for that. Oh, how sweet. I've got just the thing for you. We get you a half a lude, a Perrier water, a twist of lime, and a perk chaser. Perfect. I'll be right back. Um, there's just one thing I want to tell you before we do it. This is purely physical. And I, 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 you know, I don't expect to see you after tonight, and you are not obliged to call me. There's no commitment. Are you listening to me? No. Why not? Because you're not saying anything we want to hear. I don't know what you mean. I'm just trying to be honest. Don't be honest. What should I be? Be beautiful. Be romantic. Be mine. Oh, there's just one more thing I did want to tell you. I'm not on the pill. They were giving me migraines. But I'm all right. I mean, I'll be all right from the 14th to the 19th. And today's the 16th, right? Is it the 16th? I'm not sure if it's the 16th. What are you doing? Oh, that's so kinky. Are you biting me? Oh. 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 Oh, I don't know, Jeffrey. It just wasn't like what we have. You mean dinner, the movies, occasional sex to relieve anxieties? More than that? Huh? More. It was... It was wild. It was crazed. It was just the... Oh, it was the most unbelievable sexual fulfillment I've ever experienced. Why don't you come to the office next Monday? I'll give you a shot of penicillin. Oh, don't be snide, Jeffrey. I want to get to the bottom of this. I really do. All right. Let's analyze this. That's what I'm here for. That's right. Let's see. The first time this happened, you blamed it on low blood sugar. The glucose tolerance test, which... which I paid for, proved negative. Time before that, you said you were having a double crisis day according to your biorhythm chart. But I was. You were, huh? Mm -hmm. No, no. Last night, you were on a definite optimistic upswing. That's true. So much for that bullshit. Doctor, I think you're losing your objectivity. Oh, really? Yes. Moving right along, the time before that, you claimed the CIA had planted a mind-bending drug in your feminine hygiene spray. Well, but we checked it out. They never heard of you. So, what's left? What is it that causes you to behave with such rampant promiscuity, little miss? Hot pants. Oh, it couldn't be that. What, Jeffrey? Spit it out. Just say it. Well, either you're angry with me because of my ambivalence about committing to a definitive relationship after nine years, or uh, it's, uh, and this is probably <laughs> the, uh, the, the case here, uh, it's a uh, fantasy. 
a fantasy. Yeah. You call this a fantasy? Mm -hmm. Did you ever see a dynamite hickey like that before? Well? Oh, my God. What? No. What? No, it can't be. It can't be what? Dracula. How did you know his name? Dracula, alive. Of course he's alive. I told you I was just with him last night. Cindy. What? Darling, you met him a long time ago. You were a little girl. He was a very great man. Count Dracula? No, no. My grandfather, Dr. Fritz von Helsing. He was the first man to discover the thing you slept with last night. Thing? Excuse me. Last night. Tell me, how many times did he do it? Two and a uh, half. I fell asleep on a monkey. No, no, I mean, how many times did he bite you? Oh, that. Just once. I told you it was our first date. I was just, I was just sitting there at the disco, talking to Lisa on the quiet, phone, you know. Quiet. It was your first date. <laughs> And you're the last day. Don't be ridiculous. You're a jealous toad, Jeffrey. Page 58. Yes. Here it is. Three bites from the vampire, and the victim is doomed. Darling, if that monster bites you two more times, you will become a vampire, a living corpse. Look at if last night was any indication of what it's like to be a corpse, it sure beats the hell out of living. Cindy, I'm serious. Jeff, you're crazy. Vampires in New York City in the 20th century? Really? Sweetheart, darling, trust me. Your life is in danger. I almost love you. Can I just see him? Meet him with you, I mean? I don't know. All right, all right. He's meeting me for drinks at 8 o'clock, and then he's taking me for dinner. Don't you screw it up. No, thank you. Uh-oh, that's time. Oh, really, already? Yeah. Gee, time goes so fast. Where's my lighter? Well, where's my lighter? Sweetheart. Yes? Uh, this, this one other thing. Uh -huh. uh, you haven't paid for any of these sessions in over a year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's not for me. I mean, the accountants are all over me. And, uh, 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 so I would like a little, you know. Oh! God, I forgot my checkbook. It's on the sink, I remember. Jeffrey, um, do you think it'd be all right if I paid you Tuesday? I'll remember my checkbook on Tuesday. Oh, sure, darling, sure. Because you know what Freud said? If you don't pay, pay for, for it, it, you don't, don't get, get better. better. <laughs> I remember, I remember. Thank you, Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Later, pumpkin. Oh, huh? Jeffrey. Dracula. Alive in New York. I won't let him get her. I won't. Why don't you go and get yourself something to eat and be back in an hour? Uncola for me, please. Well, where is he? He'll be here. Another oh, fly-by-night character. Good evening, my beauty. Roses. Oh, they're beautiful. Aren't they beautiful, Jeffrey? Flowers. Don't touch the thorns. Vladimir, I'd like to introduce you to my psychiatrist, Dr. Jeffrey Rosenberg. Jeffrey, Count Dracula. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dr. Rosenberg. Likewise, Count. Please call me Vladimir. And I will call you Shrink. We are in America. 
Did you have a nice day, my beauty? Well, Rene ran my ass off all day. I mean, he may be the best photographer in New York City, but he's still a bitch. Now, now, darling. They have a right to their life. Yes, I know, Jeffrey. They love in their way. We love in ours. Who's to say which is right? By the 21st century, homosexuality will probably be the normal lifestyle. Excellent. Cigarette. Do not smoke. Thank you very much. The mirror is broken. A small accident. Forgive me, Doctor. Oh, I almost forgot. I bought you something, too, darling. Really? For me? Oh, how sweet. What is it? It's a good luck necklace. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's, it's very interesting. Oh, God, it smells awful. Yes, it's made of garlic. Garlic? I don't think that's funny, Jeffrey. Garlic. You're getting to be a bore, Rosenberg. Von Helsing, Count Dracula. My grandfather was Dr. Fritz von Helsing. I changed my name to Rosenberg for professional reasons. He practiced in London. Is the name familiar to you? Von Helsing. I should have known. Your grandfather was a very wise man. But unfortunately for him, I was wiser. Yes, but the race goes on, What Count. the hell are you men talking about? Are you stoned, Jeffrey? Did you sneak a joint out of my purse? Let him continue. It's most amusing. You won't find this amusing, Count. But have you there, some, some Wolfbane? Something more powerful than Wolfbane. Well, Count, what do you say to that? I would say leave Cindy alone and find yourself a nice Jewish girl, Doctor. Hmm? Ah, uh, shit. It's the other one, isn't it? Good evening, Dr. Rosenberg. Better luck next time. One last thing. I have no more time for games, Dr. Rosenberg. Look into my eyes, Count Vladimir Dracula. Look deeply into my eyes. You are getting sleepy. Knock it off, Jeffrey. I'm starving. I'm going to have you find the truth out about this man one way or the other, Cindy. Sleepier and sleepy. Do not teach your grandmother how to suck eggs, Rosenberg. It is you who's getting sleepier and sleepier. You are falling into a deep sleep. Pleasant. Warm. Close your eyes. Soon you will be under my power. Look it. I can't stand much more of this competitive macho shit, you guys. I'm warning you. Sleepier and sleepier, Count. Drowsier and drowsier, Rosenberg. You're almost asleep by now. No, you are. No, you are. You are. No, you are. That's the circus you were in first for the king. I will think now that this is in the tools again. Are you gentlemen? Who's there? Cindy! Cindy! Oh, it's you. Hey, why don't you just go back to the plaza and play your little boy games with Jeffrey? Open the door. I can't. I have company. I don't want to be disturbed. Very cute. I told you, I have got a man in here. Now you do. Why, you arrogant SOB. I am Dracula, a great power. And yet I'm humbled before you. You're the only woman I've ever loved. You belong to me. Look it, I'm not your slave. Now I've asked you nicely to leave. Now I'm gonna call the police. I mean it. You sought experience, and none has satisfied you. You long for something wild and overpowering, sweep you beyond thought. I 
let a rooster crow. A rooster? In New York City? It is late. I must go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. You can go to bed. Maybe get in a little quickie. No. With you, never a quickie. Always a longie. Until tonight. Hey, when you come back tonight, it's okay to use the front door. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You gotta get, you gotta get your break, man. Get your break. You take it easy. Who's in charge here? <clears throat> oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Please let me go. I swear I'll never do it again. I swear. It was just one up here. Mm. Yeah, oh, sure. What about the other three, huh? Now, you tell me the names of the boys in the gang. Maybe I'll give you a break, huh? I don't know their names. I just met them walking down the street. And you know we all look alike. Smart ass. Russell, I'm gonna throw the book at you. Uh, just... Just a minute, Lieutenant. Who the hell are you? I, uh... I just happen to be a doctor of psychiatry. Um, I think this boy is telling the truth. I think he knows what he's done, and he's sorry. Well, let me tell you. Today, Corvette hubcaps, and tomorrow, the Chase Manhattan Bank goes up in smoke. That's right. Poof! Russell, I want you to take this. Go to this clinic next Tuesday at 9. Ask for Dr. Shapiro, and you tell him that I sent you. Is that agreed? Yes, sir. Thank you. Lieutenant, unlock the handcuffs. Are you sure? There are no guarantees, Lieutenant. Only chances. OK, you must know. You're a doc. Russell, don't you make a monkey out of me. I want you to get out of here. Don't want to ever come back here again unless you're selling Girl Scout cookies, okay? Girl Scout cookies, Boy Scout cookies, oatmeal cookies, sugar cookies, anything you want. And I know where the guy parks his truck at night, and I'll get at a discount. No, for free, both of you. Oatmeal cookies, <laughs> uh, You feel better? Yes, I do. It's, it's crazy, I know. But I really do. So do I. I almost forgot why I came in here. Oh, yeah. Watch up, Doc. <laughs> this little joke, I, it just feels so good. Lieutenant, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Rosenberg, and I want to talk to you about a man who sucks the blood out of people. Lone Shark, huh? What's his name? No, no, no. This is no Lone Shark. This is a vampire. Vampire? A vampire. His name is Dracula, Count Dracula. And he bites people in the neck and he drinks their blood. O'Brien! O'Brien! Get that rotten kid back in here! Quickly! Somebody! Murphy! Murphy! I'm gonna need all the help 
we can get. Get this crazy psycho out here before I kill him. Oh, get him out! No, no, wait, wait. No. Get him out! It's, it's very hard to believe this. I know that. It's a difficult thing to believe. Out! They, they wouldn't believe my grandfather. Get him out! Can I help you with no, it, sir? No, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure you'll find everything to your satisfaction, sir. I'm sure I will. And uh, if there's anything you need, uh, my name is Billy. Oh, hello, Billy. <laughs> no, I got everything I need right here in this little old bag. If you catch my meaning, Billy. You need ice? No ice. Well, you won't be disturbed, sir. <laughs> you have a nice weekend. A nice long weekend. You too, Billy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Every now and then, it certainly helps to have a patient doing five to ten for breaking and entering. Can I really do this? Freudian wouldn't do this. A Jungian would do this. A Reichian would do this. But I'm a Freudian. But I'm also a Von Helsing! In the name of all the Von Helsings who have ever lived. Burn, baby. Burn. Who's smoking? Rainfield? This is a perfect example of a man taking charge of his own life. And I feel pretty good. Enfield! Enfield! Fire, room 903. sure about this, but I just suspect that uh, he's better in bed with my girl than I am! This guy's really flipped. Who's that for? Huh? It's not for me. Get the air bubble out. Keeping busy? Oh, yeah. Let me see. What are you doing? Oh, it's nothing. I'll show it to you when it's finished. Okay. Well, I, uh, I, I picked up something for you to eat. Hmm? Am I going to be in here that long? No, I, uh, I, uh, I just thought I'd want to get a couple extra so the others wouldn't get upset, you know. They are upset. That's why they're in here. That's right, Jeffrey. Uh, listen. It's cool. Everything is cool. I, I I talked to your answering service and I told them the doctor is is on vacation. Marry me. Yeah, please. I've been thinking about it. We should get married. But you've always told me I don't want to get married. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I was going to tell you next Tuesday when you came into the office. I'm getting the house, Larchmont, 
22 minutes from Midtown. Good schools, no tennis court, but there's room for one. God, we love it there. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, please. A dog. You've always wanted a dog. I found one. She's not spayed yet because I wanted to talk to you about it first. Even though I'm not a Catholic, you know, I... I Jeffrey, did... you're getting hysterical. Uh, I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Cindy, get me out of here quickly. You know I'm not insane. All right. All right, it's all been arranged, but you've got to promise me to be good. No more carrying up. That. Huh? No. No, no. I'll be good. I'll be better than good. I'll be perfect. No more fires? No. No more possessive tantrums? No. No more fires. I promise. No more fires. Promise? Okay, you'll be out of here in no time. Don't worry, go back to your Attention. Car. Visiting hours will be over in 15 minutes, please. Attention. Attention. Visiting hours will be over in 15 minutes, please. You did real well, Renfield. Thank you, Master. A combination getaway car and mobile home. <laughs> now, when we get inside, I want you to play it real cold. No, I believe that's real cool, Master. Cool, cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're going to make a hoist. Heist, heist, master. heist, heist. I'm sorry, we're closed. We come to make a withdrawal. We have a very sick man in the car who needs blood desperately. But that's a hearse. So maybe we're a bit late. Oh, look, look, I told you, we're, we're closed. The only thing closed are your eyes. Give us all your blood in small, unmarked bills. Master, that's bottles. Bottles. Bottles, of course. Forgive me. We are new at this. If you two freaks don't get out of here, I am going to scream my head off. If you scream loudly, they'll think you were frightened by a mouse. <laughs> It'll be wonderful at the reception when you marry Miss Cindy. <laughs> oh, how they dance on the night that they bled. I propose a toast. His blood in your eye. Close your eyes and hope to die. Are you sure your eyes are closed? Open them now. What is that? A blood ruby. And what are those little birds? It's nothing here. Creature of the night, it flies. It must have been very expensive, Vladimir. How did you afford it? I put a little away for a very long time. What's wrong? You seem so sad. I don't know. I think I love you, Vladimir. And, um... The part of me still wants to be independent, you know? The part of me wants to be taken care of, and... Part of me would like to be a wife and a mother. 
And, um, part of me still thinks I'm just like an expensive whore who'd sell anything from dog food to mouthwash for a thousand dollars a day. Oh, God. I'm so confused. You were born in the wrong time, Cindy Sondheim. In the other age, things were simpler, less complicated. Do you remember how many women had nervous breakdowns in the 14th century? No. Three. Why do you treat me so well, Vladimir? I mean, without this face that I wake up every single morning looking for the first wrinkle, I'm nothing. Do you think of me as special? Yes, of course. Then how can you think of yourself as nothing if I love you? Besides, I can arrange it so you never have to look in a mirror again. And I can arrange it so you can. The second way to kill a vampire, Count, three silver bullets through the heart. <laughs> no, Rosenberg. That is a fair wolf. A werewolf? Really? Are you sure? No harm done. The man's all right. This was for a werewolf. No problem. Calm down. Take it easy. I'm a doctor. I know what I'm doing. He's all right. He's even got my own color. Not to worry, my dear. It's a small annoyance. <sighs> You know, whenever I'm with you, I see... Places in my eyes that you've only seen in dreams. Yes. They have not been dreams. Nor do they ever have to be again. It's just incredible. I finally know what I want. What about your career? I don't know. Sometimes I think a career to a woman is kind of like fooling around to a man. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Till the right person comes along. What about Rosenberg? Jeffrey. He just doesn't make me feel the way you make me feel. What are you doing? I feel like I'm doing. Oh, feels so good. Oh, finally, after 712 years to have someone bite me again. Therapist, please report to room 264. You can see him now. Physical therapist, please report to Hi, Doc. Remember me? All of the victims had two puncture marks on their necks, but no one could remember how it happened. Absolutely, Dracula. Nothing was stolen, and no one was sexually molested. Turn to page 46. 30 years in the forest and never cracked a big one. And now here's my big chance. I have to go after a vampire. I couldn't have been a drug bust. Although no one's ever gone after a vampire before. No one's ever tried, except me. So, after four victims in the blood bank robbery, page 23, you finally believe me. I don't know what to believe, Doc. A lot of funny things going down in this city. Not funny, Lieutenant. Horrible, messy, unspeakable. Page 38. Come on, Ferguson, help me turn to page 46. I'll do more than that, Doc. 
I'm going to get you out of here. Come on. Leave everything to me. You've seen me wear it a million times. Herbal mask? Yes, but you're right. You are too late. We're in love. Now get out of here. You call this love? Look at this. Two sets of bites. I don't know. It looks awfully small to me. You sure that's not prickly heat? We've still got time to save her. Come on, I know he's in there. No, no, no. no. Are you here. crazy? We can't go in there without a search warrant. Now, you know the law. If we don't... Her immortal soul will be lost forever. And if we do, I lose my pension. Now, come on. I know a friendly judge. Oh, Jeffrey! Listen, we're getting married next week. I'm registered at Bloomingdale's. I'm okay with Crystal, but I'm a little short on china and silverware. You get nothing from me! Say what? A search warrant, Your Honor. We need a search warrant right now. There's been a rash of bat bites in the city. Maybe you've been reading about it. A blood bank robbery, and this girl has these two red holes on the side of her neck. We have reason to believe this is the work of a vampire. A vampire. That's right. And that's why we need the warrant right now. So we can grab him while he's still sleeping in his coffin. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. Uh, Your Honor, let me shed some light on this. Listen, honky. Didn't you see Roots? I loved Roots. Ben Vereen is a terrific dancer. You better believe it. And our people have come a long way for you to be coming in here with that voodoo, scary, Dracula shit. Now, I want you to haul ass out of my courtroom before I really get mean. Your Honor, I'm a doctor of psychiatry. <laughs> It's him! Yeah, or a rock group. Come on. Are you coming or aren't you? I can't do it, Doc. I told you, and I'm sorry. You bring him down, I'll do the rest. All right, you stay right here. Wait a minute. You may need this. He's already dead. Cinderella? He's in here somewhere, and I'll find him. It's me. I don't see any pictures of him. You know why there are no pictures of him? Because you can't take any pictures of him. That's why. There's somewhere. Renfield. <laughs> so we meet again, Dr. Rosenberg. Where's your master? He's at the airport buying tickets for our flight home tonight. Renfield, why did you tell him that? Because the bad guys always tell the good guys what they're going to do just before they try to kill them. He's absolutely right, Miss Cindy. Uh, that's part of the rules. But in this case, we are the good guys. Shall we let history make that judgment? Renfield? Certainly, Rosenberg. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Yes. Do you like centipedes? Why do you ask? Because there's a beautiful one in front of your left foot. Where? Where? Uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, and you call yourself a doctor? Jeffrey! Come on. You're coming with me. No, I'm not. Look, and I love him and he loves me. Why don't you just go walk around the block and try to explain that to yourself? Okay. I'm sorry. I've been way out of line here. 
I'm really sorry you've seen the last of me. All right. Sorry to see it end this way. One way or the other, sister. Nighty night. God. Not again. Please, don't mess with that big switch up there in the sky. <laughs> Jet lag. Not a brown out. It was stuck. Somebody got a match. He's right. Relax, Evu. I've got a lighter in my right hand pocket. Would one of you guys want to reach in, grab it, and flick my bick? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, excuse me. I got it. Well, the important thing is not to panic. Huh? Too many people in here. Somebody's got to go. What are you talking about? This is an elevator, not a lifeboat. Morris. Morris. Hello, honey. Hello. <laughs> animals. Oh. People in a blackout become animals. Brenda, where is she? Oh, she's gone. Rosenberg took her. Rosenberg, where? I don't know, but they only left a few moments ago. Oh, Master, what are we to do now? Where are we to go? Airline tickets to romantic places. London. Dorchester Hotel. England. Just like the good old days. Where am I? What happened? You tell her, poor darling. It's all right, darling. Cindy, relax. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Long flight. Now I remember my... Go with me, Dr. Rosenberg. I'm going to scream. I'm Please, gonna... no screaming. I'm becoming unglued as it is. Oh, God, I think I'm going to faint. Well, if you do, it'll have to be standing up, fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> Care of your mother. Bolt the doors. Then if anybody breaks in, tell them your father's a cop. That'll scare them. What are you doing? It's for my den. <gasps> I hate princess phones, don't you? You can't do that. Give me that back. Lost my dime. There. Now do not forget, lady. You owe us. Mm. Don't forget to tell them we're here, darling. All right. Oh. Oh, oh, remember, oh, honey, oh, Mrs. Oh, Mark within 14B. Please turn off the pot roast. Oh, my dear. Quickly, my darling. Hold on tight. Honey, can we stop by the apartment so I can pack a little overnight bag? Of course, my darling. Which floor is it? Listen, listen, kid. I'm sorry about that, you know, but you kind of went bananas. Look, if you ever need me, any time of the day or night, I'm right across the street at St. Vincent. Such a nice Jewish boy, a doctor yet. What do you need him a sugar and a blonde like that for? <laughs> now, my sister Lena, she has a daughter. Ferguson! I had her, but he took her up the elevator shaft. It's all right. What goes up? Must come down. Come on. You're all under arrest. Every one of you. Check the fish. Get your $10 flashlight. How about it, sir? 
Ten dollars for a flashlight? Supply and demand. I'm a cop, you know. Two dollars for a flashlight. Get your two dollar flashlight. Where the hell are they? Gentlemen, could you tell me exactly what you did during the blackout? Well, I'm a cop, and I was... Is this local or network? A local. Live or taped? Live. There is a vampire loose in the city. Lock up your wives, your sisters, your daughters, and your sweethearts. No, 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 no. no. So this is Edward Calvin reporting... He's already got my girl! Come on! There they are! Come on. Reporting on the street coverage. Protect of, yourself. Looks like a bat. Of some strange happenings. We're going to find out the details later. Uh, hi, Doc. Hiya, Russell. See you at the clinic. I told you so. Maybe it's just therapy. Doc, look. A bike. Come on. What, 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 what following? What? Something I should know? Hang a right on Queens Boulevard. Proceed do not on the Van Dyck Expressway. Forget the Grand Central and the Belt Parkway. This takes us right in. Oh, that's terrific. Would you like to come up here and help me drive? If necessary. be backed up for miles. Erwin Newman, driver 10763. I command you to defy the laws of centrifugal force. Close your eyes. Yes, master. I mean, mister. Oh, this is great. I, I won't have to get my tires rotated this month. Drive on the grass. Oh, that I can't do. It's, uh, it's illegal. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the car. Oh, that's sweet. How romantic. Erwin, turn some uh, music. All right. Uh -huh. Shoot, we're almost there. How much 
much do I owe you, Abby? What? Oh, me, forget about it. I've been driving people to the airport for 32 years. And this is the first time I ever took a flight. Thanks a lot, buddy. I only wish the missus was here. I don't know how it could have happened. It's dreadful. The coffin's supposed to be on flight 602 to London. When it arrives in Jamaica, it'll be sent on the very next flight to London. But that'll be too late. My master will disintegrate. He'll turn to dust. Greenfield. Oh, master, we have a problem. We have a terrible problem. Correction, Greenfield. Several terrible problems. H before beauty, follow me. Listen, when you go through customs, be careful with that little bag. M master, the, the coffin's on its way to Jamaica. So what else is new? I'll I'll see you in Jamaica. Quick, the runway. Jamaica. I'll see. No smoking. What's the movie? In Cold Blood. There is another way. The third bite. But I don't know, Vladimir. I mean, you're... You're a beautiful lover. And you're a great dancer. You go through doors great. Of course, I don't know how you're going to look as a bad. I just don't know what to do. You'll have to tell me what to do. You must make the choice. No. As for me. In a world without romance, it is better to be dead. Cindy! Cindy! I'm pretty sure I love you! What am I saying? Of course I love you! I think! Do it now, Fred. Third way to kill a vampire, hair count. A wooden stake through the heart. Stop it, Doctor. Stop it. Stop it. Look, stop it. No good. They're gone. See? They disappeared. Oh. Gone. Oh, no. Oh. Cindy. Cindy, don't go. Come back. I need you. Let's talk about it. Look, the check. She paid me everything she owes me. She left me, but she learned something. She's a responsible person. Or whatever. What was it with that guy? I mean, what did he have? Was it the accent? Good evening. No, I think it was the cape. The cape! The cape. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Try it out. Let's see what it looks like. What do you think? Mm. Definitely. It was the cape. It really looks terrific on you. You think so? I think so. Listen. Um, Doc, I have an anniversary coming up, my 10th. And if I came home, this Friday night, with a bottle of wine, a dozen roses, wearing that cape, I think it would drive my wife up a wall. Can I borrow it for just one night, please? All right. Thanks, Doc. But I want it back Saturday for the weekend. Sure, and I'll even have it clean, all right? Okay. Thanks. This isn't so hard. I think I'm gonna love immortality. There is one small disadvantage. We can only live by night. Oh, that's all right with me. 
I mean, I could never really get my shit together till seven anyway. There is a creature of the night whose very name strikes terror in the hearts of man. He fears only mirrors, the scent of garlic, and the sight of a crucifix. He feeds upon human blood. Only sunlight or a stake driven through his heart can destroy him or those whose blood he drinks. His name is Dracula. I love you, and I can give you eternal life. I knew it an insurance salesman. I've already got Prudential. Oh my, are you biting me? Oh, oh, oh. It was wild. How many times did he bite you? Oh, bad. Just once. I told you it was our first date. I won't let him get her. Well, Count, what do you say to that? I would say leave Cindy alone and find yourself a nice Jewish girl, Doctor. That's the other one, isn't it? Dracula in New York. His style is irresistible. His curiosity is irrepressible. And when he takes a bite out of the Big Apple, his appetite is insatiable. If you're hungry, Master, we could ring for the night, maid. <laughs> oh, I love my life. When you is gone, nobody's gonna bring you back here once to a day. Good evening. Oh, I love my life. Master, please be careful. What is it? You nearly stepped on my dinner. Bon appetit. Oh, I love my life. I heard a rooster crow. A rooster in New York City? I cannot believe what I'm hearing. It's him! Yeah, or a rock group. The second way to kill a vampire, Count. Three silver bullets through the heart. No, Rosenberg. That is a fair bull. Really? Are you sure? <gasps> I've lost it forever. He's drained all the blood out of her. George Hamilton. His blood in your eye. Susan St. James. Richard Benjamin. Dick Sean. Sherman Hemsley. Isabel Sanford. Uh, 
and Artie Johnson as Renfield. Finally, after 712 years, to have someone bite me again. Love at first bite.